SNN. Headline News Update. Pesavento giving you a little recap of what's happening. The Dow's up about 350 points. The S&P's up 25. NASDAQ's up about 30. Market's going strong. And I would like to report that my good friend Peter Elides has called for a short-term top today, which I certainly believe it. I will post a chart here for you so that you get an idea of why I'm doing that, <laughs> as everybody likes to know. Anyway, we'll get this up here. I'll do it two ways. I'll do it with the uh, Dow Jones E-mini because that's the leader of the pack. That's the one that has been uh, driving the market, and I'm sure that it's probably going to be continuing that. And Till it's over, which uh, may or may not be today. But as you can see here, where we were the other day when we had this huge rally, if you remember, that's when we had the, the monster rally on uh, Friday. Now, remember, just looking at this, this is a short-term chart. And uh, so what we're looking at now is the market went up and completed the ABCD pattern up there at uh, 30,000. Uh, 450, I think, something like that. Uh, yeah, 30,450. Might be 31,450. I don't know. I can't see the chart from. Let me look at it just to be sure. Okay, because I have. Yeah, it's 31,520 is uh, the, the number that it was supposed to hit. And we did hit that number. So uh, that has completed the pattern. Uh, you'll notice here, if you look at it really closely, if you'll notice here, right here, the pullback last uh, on Friday, this was Friday before we had the explosive move to the upside right there. There was a 382 retracement. Okay, it's an ABCD pattern, everything right there. That was at five minutes to the hour at 9 o'clock, uh, 8.55, and the market just exploded up. And then last night, it had a 450-point move to the downside hitting the exact 382 retracement of the low on Friday. And, of course, we went up and made a new high today. But the new high is not being uh, – uh, we have a new high in the S&P by just a little bit, but not from last night. Last night's high was 838.14, uh, and, the, you know, the number we were looking at was 38.20. So that's uh, another one that's fixed, and the NASDAQ is lagging badly still. But that's uh, what's going on. So there's some big things happening in the international markets that we're going to be talking about on my show coming up here in a few minutes, especially starting with uh, Hong Kong, because that's one of our favorite places in the world and a second home, of course. And we uh, certainly do want to take a look at that Hong Kong market because it's, it's getting really interesting, folks. So we'll be right back after this short break. 